Hey, welcome to a thank you for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour, right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamig Israel. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content, and also if you want to donate to the ministry, the donation link in the description box below. The baby, well, I'll let Brother Israel, go ahead. This is coming from Billboard.com. Article headline is, The baby says he and Lil Wayne are the best rappers alive. Now, I'm sort of confused because, um, I could have sworn a couple of days ago we just did an article on Lil Wayne and he was in some serious trouble. Yeah, and... Not only that, but um, the baby can't rap. Little Wayne can't. Well, he I don't know. He, he raps him off the wall crap, which don't make sense. He talk about a spaceship, then he talk about the spaceship turning into a moon and then flying off to the sun. That's yeah, just about how he did the sun. Yeah, how that's did you do the sun. That's just blame babbling. That's what that is. That's babbling. That's ranting. And I believe that's almost the same thing that the baby does. Let me give you an example of a good lyricist. Who don't get his proper credit. But that good lyricist is. Jada Kiss. That's a good lyricist. Now now, don't get me wrong. This, yes these. People have passed his soul through the fire of Moloch. But you know what I'm saying. If you want to give credit to somebody. You give credit to somebody like Jada Kiss. That's right there. That's a good lyricist. And a good flow bringer. Another one is, um, let me see, Jada Kiss. There's not too many of them out there. Um, actually, Jada Kiss, actually, that's the only one that I can think of. Oh, wait a minute. Jada Kiss and, um, that other guy, um, Cassidy. Jada, Jada Kiss and Cassidy. Them two are good lyricists. There is no other one that I can think of. <laughs> Now, like I said, they both satanic. They both pass their soul through the fire of Moloch. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, but if to be honest, to, to, to be with this and to say who you should give that credit to, you should give that credit to Jadakiss and Cassidy. There is no other. I can't think of one. Because everybody else is doing everything that everybody else is doing. Every other rapper... It's rapping the exact same way and got the same flow that everybody else got. The only ones, the only ones that got a different flow is Jadakiss and Cassidy. What you think, Brother Israel? Uh, I like Jadakiss flow from the songs I heard. I do like his flow. I'm not. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't really listen to. But I agree with you with everyone who's coming up today and stuff like that. They all have pretty much the same flow. It's like you're listening to the same person with different words and stuff like that. Yeah, that's all that's it is. Stuff. Well, that's it. it. As far as someone actually talking about something and actually rhyming, as they talking about something, like how uh, rap started off, no, there's not really anyone that's like that anymore. Exactly. I mean, you you cannot put uh, see uh, a person cannot put Jadakiss in the same category as the baby. Oh, oh, no, Jadakiss can't even be put in the same category as Lil Wayne. It's not. It's not even a comparison. You can't compare. It's two different. You could tell the difference. You could actually understand one and see that one is actual story, and then the other one is just a straight. I'm just gonna spit this because it sounds good. Yeah. Oh, I, I took, I put my sneakers on backwards and and I moonwalked to checkers. That that's that's what Lil Wayne to say. 
I put my sneakers on backwards and moonwalk to checkers. Like what knowledge? What what do you even get out of that? Can you even put a shoe on backwards? No, it's impossible. But that's what little Wayne does. He say off the wall things and stupid Negroes be like, "Oh, that was some hot shit." He spit yeah, a he spit a good hot forty bars. <laughs> that's Negroes for you. But the baby, sit your ass down somewhere, the baby. You ain't been hot ever since you sacrificed your daddy. You wouldn't be hot unless you sacrificed your daddy. And little Wayne, you done. You can't even be, you can, nobody can even stick a fork in you. That's the fork a break. But go ahead, brother Joe. <clears throat> we got Billboard Baby. What's happening? The baby has officially named himself and Lil Wayne the kings of the rap game. What? Kings? My point. Yeah, exactly. Oh, of this generation rap game? Because you can't, you gotta choose a specific, uh, part of the rap game. You can't, you can't claim the whole rap game. Exactly. Like, how many I albums do you got? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, how many albums do you got? How many songs do you got? How many uh, hits do you got? First of all, how many hits do you got? <laughs> and I don't care about your screens. Exactly. Because we know uh, that goes straight to your record label. Yeah, I don't care about your streams. All right, I understand, uh, the baby. If you, you know, if you know, you crown Lil Wayne king of the rap game for you guys, but uh, you, you just got on the scene. How, 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 how? When was he signed? To see what he killed his he killed his father. What back in two thousand eighteen or nineteen? Yeah, eighteen, nineteen, and he was wearing a diaper before then. <laughs> yeah, no person that wears a diaper could call himself King of Rap. I'm yeah. sorry. Sorry. King, king of Huggies. He, 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 can, he can say he's King of Huggies or, you know what I'm saying? Or Loves or something yeah, like loves, that. Yeah, Loves. You're the King of Loves. You know, you need to do a Love commercial. Or Pampers or something, but definitely not no rap game. The rock star rapper took to Instagram on Sunday, January 3rd, to share a series of photos in Miami studio with Tucci. Best rappers alive, he captioned the snaps with a tornado emoji and a goat emoji after Lil Wayne's tag. You know what that goat stands for, right? Yeah, that's God for them. Yeah, that's exactly why he put that goat. The duo didn't reveal what exactly they're cooking up in the studio, so it's not the first time they've worked together. They previously collaborated with Trey Song on a remix. Jack Carlos was popping. And that's the end of that article. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne look like a ghost. Like, damn, Lil Wayne, you just done. But they're in a way. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Brother Lamy Israel. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you enjoy this content. And um, uh, if you want to show you... Well, if you... Um, Oh, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR. Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group.